As promised, this is T68 Texan 2. This plane is primary basic trainer for US Air Force, US Navy, and US Army. It based and developed from Pilatus PC9 from Switzerland. This model wingspan is about 1200 mm and the flying weight is about 1010 grams. You can see in specs here. The plane comes with fixed landing gear like this, but you can always change it to retractable landing gear. And this model I haven't fly yet. I plan to fly it tomorrow. I uh, hope it can fly well. Okay, and let's see how I build this model. Check this out. I just want to say thank you for all your support. My channel already reached 40,000 subscribers. I've been receiving many requests for making a video how I designed the plans. Let me tell you, I will do it when this channel reach 50,000 subs. This is just an example how I make the 3D model on Blender. Okay, let's start building it. Here I make score lines on the foam for easier bending. And then hitting it on the heat gun while curve the foam by hand like this. Follow the steps to build the wing. Mark the space in between the foam spars for inserting wing joiner. Sand the leading and trailing edges so they have slope profile. For this, I use two types of glue, hot glue for the leading edge and foam safe glue for the rest. Do the same for both side wings. Sand all edges until they have rounded shape. This is how I close the wing tip. Cut the aileron and prepare it like this. Make holes for servo cables. I use 9 gram plastic servo for the ailerons. Wing joiner is made from two ply of 3 mm plywood stacked together. If there's any gap, fill it with hot glue. Now we are building the fuse last. You may wonder why the right wall is shorter than the left one. It's because for making the nose a bit tilt to the right to give the motor slightly right thrust angle. Right thrust angle is important for puller or tractor model 
to compensate the torque from the motor so the plane can fly straight. You can see here the firewall is not straight. This step is prone to make the tail twisted or not straight. You have to extra careful on this. Here I use this 35 size motor, it's quite powerful motor. If the motor has too much thrust angle, you can add washer to make it about 2 to 3 degrees to the right. I use 50M ESC for this. You have to test the motor rotation since it will be quite hard to do it when the nose is already completed. This is a comparison from the part that is already sanded before and after. I use 9mm plywood for wing mounting platform. Trim all excess foam to prepare for sanding. And this is the fuse last after wet sanding. For easier covering, we need to detach all the control surfaces. For covering the foam, I use white color packing tapes like this.
Before covering the center of the wing, you need to add this for easier to install the wing. I use mica plastic covered with paper tape for rudder hinges. And for ailerons and elevator, I use packing tapes or cello tapes for hinges. Here I am preparing to apply paint on the model. I already add masking and now I am sanding all surfaces that will be painted. I also add paper masking tape on the area that will frequently will have paint chip. Like on the edges, wing tips, leading and trailing edges, the masking tape will be painted and will not be removed and will be the part of the model itself. Here I cut the paint border with sharp knife to make a grips border when the masking tape is removed. Here how I make the clear canopy. I use 0.3 mm mica plastic. Attach the first plastic part with 5mm hanging on the front. And then cut the edges of hanging plastic like this. Continue attaching other parts. Glue the plastic only on the bottom.
the width of the canopy frames is about 1 cm. I use elastic thread for canopy locking system like this. And here's how I make the fixed landing gear. These are the main landing gear, made with the same technique. Peel off the tape covering using sharp knife before gluing the landing gear in place. I made a homemade spinner with paper card like this. And then test it whether it's already balanced or not.
I have to add two AA batteries on the tail to achieve the balance on the CG. I use servo arm like this for all control horns. Here's how I make the battery tray. You have to dig out the foam about 5 cm to the front to install this battery tray. Ok here we are on the first flight day. I have to wait 3 days for my daughter to finish her school exam. I have to trim the elevator full down to get it right. Looks like the elevator is not really leveled, but I still can manage it. Beside the elevator, I also trim the aileron and a little bit on the rudder. The power is good, don't know why I was still using about 50% of throttle most of the time. I think I was a bit scared to rip the spinner off.
I like this plane, it's easy to control. You can just bang and it will turn quite tightly without using a rudder. It's also very easy to touch and go. I wish I have a longer runway. Nothing's broken. Nice maiden flight. After changing the battery, this was a second flight and carrying on board camera. This time I didn't check the spinner and it was unbalanced. Maybe it started losing the grip. I should have used stronger glue like CA instead of foam glue. and it landed without the spinner. Hey guys, I just got home from the field. It was a very successful battle flight. This plane was behaving like I expected. The takeoff is smooth, can touch and go very easy and the response is good from the building process point of view I think this plane is quite easy to make the only problem you have to take extra care on building the tail but the other is easy I guess this project is already finished and it can fly beautifully uh, I am very satisfied about this project and this look of the, the plane and I recommend you to build this plane too and having fun with it okay the next project I will continue part 4 of the Boeing 747 maybe I will not straight to building the wing maybe I will making a lock system for the each segment and also build the accessories like the engine okay thank you for watching if you like this video consider to subscribe thanks again see you in the next episode